Since independence in 1946, the Philippines has had a liberal democracy and growing economy. But millions of people continue to live in poverty. Together with serious human rights violations, natural disasters and social inequalities, these people also face an uncertain future. In Mindanao, a province in the southern part of the Philippines, decades of armed conflict also pose a serious threat. Since 2005, the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue has been working at the local and most senior diplomatic levels to help secure sustainable peace in the Philippines. You still have a lot of conflicts that exist at a very serious level. Um, you have a communist insurgency, you have a Muslim insurgency in the south that's seeking independence, mm -hmm. and these insurgencies have been going on for 35 years now. And the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue is involved in trying to help resolve these conflicts through both formal peace processes, in which we work with uh, state actors, the Norwegian government, the Malaysian government, and the Indonesian government, and the Organization of Islamic Conference. We work with them in trying to help resolve those conflicts. And then we also work outside of the formal peace processes in trying to uh, work with uh, local groups, and communities and helping them resolve conflicts and address issues of, of violence among communities. As one of its activities, the HD Center has created an independent and impartial local group called Tamikang Sama Sama, which means together we move forward. The group of six eminent and respected personalities from the troubled island of Sulu use their position to address and help prevent violence in the region. The HD Center provides them with logistical support and expert advice. Most recently, Sama Sama has opened channels to talk to one of the most radical terrorist groups, the Abu Sayyaf group. But I think you've actually achieved quite a bit. I mean, let's face it, for the issue of dialogue with the Abu Sayyaf, you put that on the agenda. You talked to the general, and, and he actually gave a, a yellow light to dialogue with the Abu Sayyaf. That's not a small, that's a fundamental change in thinking that the military has now had and he has it from you. So don't dismiss your, your, your Abu Sayyaf initiative. That's, that's huge. I, I think a lot of it is, is really you need to better report, you know, and you need to better understand the impact that you've had, and you need to better monitor this. And I'll need to, to talk about, you know, the HD Center, because we're a conflict resolution group, and we help you, you know, get support, like for the um, livelihoods projects, or for the uh, vocational trainings and the madrasas. So I think that we can help put you in touch with the right people if that's what Tumikang Sama Sama also wants to do. It's the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue that's uh, behind us, uh, propping us up in our efforts towards peace here. These conflicts here really need to be solved by the people here. Uh, the types of conflicts these are, it's going to be most effectively resolved by them and most sustainably resolved by them. So we need to uh, encourage that and help build up their capacity. The role that we play is as an independent uh, party uh, which has expertise. Uh, that's uh, very important. To strengthen local efforts, the HD Center supports a series of initiatives that feed into the peace process. Local staff regularly meet and talk directly to remote and often isolated communities whose voices are otherwise not heard in the peace process. Through this dialogue, their concerns are brought to the negotiating table and at the same time they are informed about the political discussions that affect them. Katong ceasefire, katong international monitoring team na hambalik, katong uh, civilian protection component na plaster, ang international contact group na uh, na kanaon tatanan dili na mawala. As the existence of the indigenous communities in the Philippines continues to be threatened by all parties to the conflict, helping to protect their rights is key to achieving a just and lost in peace. 
I think being there on the ground, engaging with the parties, going through the thick and the thin uh, with them really develops a, a relationship of trust and confidence um, and a seriousness um, that um, is very important in the process. You can see that through all that work that you did and through the support that you've gotten from your headquarters and through the philosophy of the center, the, the way that we work, uh, you can see that uh, the investment in these places, the investment with the parties, um, it may not happen right away, but if you continue to work hard at it, work on the ground, demonstrate a degree of seriousness and, and prepared to take risks with them, because they're the ones taking the big risks, then they'll see that you're serious about this and you really want to, to make a difference. The HD Centre continues to support the mediation process at the highest political level as talks between the Muslim insurgent group, the MILF, and the Philippine government enter a critical phase. It is an important player in the peace efforts, having set up the International Contact Group to assist Malaysia in its lead role as mediator and through its direct engagements with the conflict parties, diplomats and other states involved in the process. Until an agreement that secures a sustainable peace is signed, the HD Center will continue its efforts on the ground.